I'm the president of uh, Textile and Fashion Federation of Singapore. I'm Simon. I'm the CEO of Textile and Fashion Federation. My name is Pong Ao, and I'm the Marketing and Events Director at the Textile and Fashion Federation. My name is Leonard Augustine Chu. I work for the Textile and Fashion Federation as the Director of Design Resource Development. It is an initiative by TEF, design competition for our local designers to come up with a collection uh, with a Singapore story inspired by uh, our Singaporean roots. TEF is an organisation that builds platform for the community in the fashion. Previously, it's been a showcase, an exhibit, but this year, it's actually a eight months design competition. This is with the idea of creating um, an opportunity for people to think about what it really means to create art and fashion in Singapore. We hope that it is a platform for the designers uh, to showcase their talents, uh, their creativity. It started off about three years ago when we wanted to create better awareness of local brands and, and to encourage people to support local brands. Really excited to see what the five finalists have come up with um, for their final capsule collection, Singapore Stories capsule collection. All of their stories are so unique. Hopefully in future, regional, global, um, helping to bring fashion from this part of the world, designers from this part of the world to an international stage. Um, I think I still, I've still established a very strong identity, but I also want to explore different things. All right, so I was inspired by uh, the event I went to last year. Yeah, so I went to support the, uh, the industry. We have such beautiful buildings and we are a design hub. You know, I would really like to see more Singaporean designers like make it internationally actually, which is obviously very ambitious. Uh, I saw it a very good uh, opportunity for me to learn more. The, the, the core in my collection is always to have uh, kaftans, flowy kaftans, and I only make one of each. There's always new details of every single kaftans, of the collar or, or, or the, the buttons or, or the neckline or whatever. And I thought it was a really exciting opportunity to kind of use this as an excuse to get back at, to being coming a designer again. Well, I've tried something completely different this time. I took a lot of inspiration from our ACM uh, tour, and I was really inspired by the hand painting that they did on textiles. It's a brand for the other youthful woman, right? Um, someone who loves herself, who's confident in her own skin. Me putting my pictures of the sky into computer code, unexpected results still being beautiful. Yes, it has. Uh, because there's so many great designers out there. So I decided to take a lot of my inspiration from modern day Singapore and the landscape and all the nature. The only challenge I've had is the whole lockdown period. I mean, things have been delayed, you know, the team has been also under a lot of stress because some of them were not feeling well. Unable to, to really go and feel the fabric, touch and feel and meet my team um, overseas and to have a sit down to discuss, that was the biggest challenge I find. I've been very challenged uh, because of uh, the pandemic, so it was very limited resources. It was good to have them. I had an idea but I wasn't sure how I would execute it. And as I began the execution process of like designing exactly what the look would look like, sketching and everything, I was, I just couldn't stand my ideas anymore. I was just like, oh no. I think really it was more about like, okay, how do I translate everything in my head to like an actual physical garment, really, and like bringing it to a very tight, cohesive cl uh, capsule collection. Mentioned Nina is a bit more edgy. Okay. is drawing inspiration from heritage looks. So, Baju, Okay. Uh, Currently, we are fitting some of the models that we shot instead just to get a gist the, the fitting of your garments. Okay. I'm Clarence from Bean Group. 
I'm the Chief Operating Officer. My name is Kelly and I'm the Managing Director of MTM Skincare. Hi, my name is Winston Mulyadi from Lansing Group. My name is Khaled. Uh, I'm the CEO and Director of uh, Fashion Design Asia Europe. The CITA is the only global first omnichannel platform for Asian designers. Um, we are actually looking into potential collaborations, hopefully, uh, where co-wear can, can bring out more unique um, Singapore flavours. We are one of the partners for Singapore Stories this year. We're sponsoring to support the locals. We are uh, supporting these industries uh, by providing them with the sustainable raw material for fashion industries. What we offer to the winner is to participate to our next physical show that will take place uh, in September 2021. Uh, in Paris. So for Singapore Stories, we're really excited that we're able to showcase the winner of um, the uh, Singapore Stories. And we obviously want to do our part in the, for the fashion industry in Singapore. I think it would be able to reach out to a lot more people other than just the Singaporeans. To also uh, highlight the importance of sustainability in this case, uh, in the fashion industry. Uh, in my experience, I didn't meet a lot of Singaporean designers that are present during Paris Fashion Week. So I want uh, that to change. It also shows the solidarity for the fashion industry in Singapore. And despite all the challenges everybody put through. My name is Sue, Sue Pei. So I'm the founder of Sue by Hand. My name is Jamie. I'm from the brand Intrigue. My, my name is Muhammad. I'm the I'm a co-founder of Kanzi Collection. Um, it's a great way for me as a local to get back in touch with what the Singapore fashion scene is about. Um, I've always been um, very drawn to the Peranakan um, culture. Singapore story uh, inspired me to re to reproduce. Uh, the ECAT for the contemporary consumers in Singapore. I think it's really encouraged me to try to think of a more sustainable brand strategy. That now we are using uh, tensile thread uh, replacing the raw cotton. Actually, uh, open up my eyes and I got like uh, interesting comments that will help me to improve my future collections as well. Oh. Oh, I miss you, okay? Uh, that was good. Um, so, let's talk about fitting. Today. So, fitting day was uh, hectic. I think we made some key decisions. We did bring one dress. Um, we just struggling a little bit because of this global situation that we're all in. I actually left the room during the day because I thought that if I was there, she would just get more anxious. Adeline's always prepared all her sketches, all her swatches, all the garments made. So is Adeline the only one that brought all her garments? Yes. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit of a journey with Tara. So initially she had this lukewarm idea Really great idea. I was really Tara just trying to find her voice. Then the next day is very shy, as we know. She's very insecure. She said, What do you think? This is fabulous! Tara is a very visual designer and loves to work on her body. And so I think it's a bit scary for us when she pulls out six meters of silver fabric and says, This will be a dress. <laughs> I believe you. Basically, well, in my um, signature piece, I always use butterflies, oh. birds, and um, dragonflies. They're always a signature of my um, design collection. And then in this one, I wanted to take inspiration by, you know, since obviously it's a bit more botanical, the leaves, so I tried to explain my story through this. I did a bit more in a different cut and silhouette to suit the market here. To all the commercial side, so. Uh, so yeah, so the conversations and the connection was great. White dress, that's the beige dress. 
hand painter. Your navy is number two, and your gold is number one. Mm -hmm. Portray. So it was, it, it's been up and down. Like sometimes I feel like I'm straying away from it. Sometimes I feel like I should just stick to my gut instinct. So it's just been a roller coaster, honestly. So I have two options. I completely agree with you. Uh, what I really like about Adeline is that uh, of course she's very um, open to a suggestion. I love the denim, denim and the rose. It's really, uh, it's really chic and makes a statement. The approach she has to fashion and uh, how refined she is in her. There was a lot of uh, supply chain breakdown. Right? I think uh, not just with fashion, across the cost world. Right? And then that's actually one of the main challenge. I'm just, just wondering if you're unable to keep it flat, if you can't hide it, showcase it. The shirt is great for your collection. Okay. Because everything is a horizontal block. Mm. And this is a vertical block. Yeah, true. The variation is important. Yeah. But helpful. Like without him, I definitely would not have clarified my idea this much. Her external view of the fashion world definitely created a collection that was very exciting to look at from a fashion point of view. And I can't wait for all of you to see it. So the mentees were, were very happy to be with an, a group of mentors like our, ourselves because basically we're in a forum where we can exchange ideas in a frank and open way. With the side panel, it marries into the world. Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to. No, I had the side panel, but it was not on the picture. Mm. No, but with the side panel now, the skirt has something to do with the top. Because I think yeah. the yeah. initial issue was that it didn't look Ensemble. During this pandemic, uh, she had to deal with a couple of uh, upheavals in her life. Her passion for fashion and her passion for her label really stood through and I'm just so happy for her to be a fine uh, I wanted to do more than just kaftans. So actually in this uh, final collection, there are no kaftans and there are no dresses. It's completely different dresses. Okay. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. It gets more dramatic. There's a bit of a trans for me at least. Like maybe you, yeah. but yeah. it's a transition for formality. I mean, if you swap it out, it kind of. With Carol, I I think she is a very inspiring uh, woman. She um, has done so much in the industry already. So. What you suggested. We're basically, we're going to cut out the flowers and embroider it onto this. It was actually just about fine-tuning them, getting them to really reflect on the decisions that they've made. The specific case of, of Carol, I think she's very well versed in business. She's very entrepreneurial. For the grand finale of Singapore Stories 2020, we are here at the Asian Civilizations Museum, one of Asia's premier pan-Asian decorative arts museums right here in Singapore. The judging will take place in the River Room here at the Asian Civilizations Museum, which overlooks the historic Singapore River. What better place to explore the collections of our finalists for Singapore Stories 2020? So I'm here today with Nita, who is the founder of Nita Shea. I'm actually really curious to see how have you been for the past week leading up to today? I'm completely crazy. <laughs> it's been so intense. I don't think I've slept properly. And you can see the bugs underneath my eyes. And it's been super stressful, even to the last minute. I just made some changes. Completely different idea when I designed it and I you know, put on the model. And then just now, I just felt like it would just be more powerful with the new look I've given. Yeah. It's been a long eight months. Yeah. And I think the longer it was, it made you just keep on second guessing am I doing the right thing? Have I done enough? So I think that was a whole, it was exhausting. Um, I would say equally nervous and excited. Yeah, it's, 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 it's months, eight months, and yeah. 
today is the day. How does it feel to actually see everything finally come together after eight months? I think um, the gratification is there's like from planning to to research, to execution, and then when you see everything there, I think the, the instant gratification is like, oh, this is it. So I, yeah. Basically, trying very hard to like steady my nerves and just learn to be like mentally stronger and to just be chilled out. Um, settling, a lot of running around, settling like shoes, trusting, learning to trust like my gut feeling. As I'm nervous, I am, uh, I'm very excited. Excited? Yeah. Have you made any last changes last minute to your collection for today? Uh, no, I haven't because I'm so ready. First off, I want to know, how was your week leading up to the competition? <laughs> oh, it was insane. I went to bed at like 5.30 in the morning pretty much every other day. But I'm really, really excited. All my pieces look amazing. They fit the models perfectly. Um, I was able to make a lot of matching accessories like masks and earrings and bags and shoes. So I'm, I'm really happy with it.
Hello judges, welcome to the finale of Singapore Stories 2020. Our first finalist is Nida She with her final Singapore Stories collection, Reminisce. What is my Singapore story? You know, I have a very international um, vision, the way I look at it and the way I look at the inspiration around me. With this, I tried something completely new, went completely away from embroidery to give you something, contrast, and did a hand painting. I was inspired by the piece that you showed us at the ATM. All of these pieces can actually be broken apart too, right? I mean, that's always the case in all my embroideries. Like, for example, that top could be with a plain black pants or mm -hmm. something completely casual in jeans. Even that can be broken into two to three different looks. Congratulations on your Singapore Stories collection. Adeline Putri with her Singapore Stories collection, Women of Yesteryear. Today, tomorrow, and the future. So my Singapore stories uh, is inspired by three iconic women from yesteryear. For the textile, um, I selected, um, I'm trying to be a sustainable and very eco-friendly fabric. This is the Haji belt, yeah, uh, I have it revisible, both sides. So Repave Denim is a denim that's made of plastic recycled bottles. This piece is inspired from the apron for the sexy women, so I have the bare back, but then just have it in line and flowy. So that was Adeline's collection for Singapore Stories 2020. Is Tara Chiang from CYC Taylor with her Singapore Stories collection, The Sky as a State of Mind. Basically, this glitch was done on um, kind of like inserting the word everything will be okay into a picture that I took of the sky. I felt like our ancestors um, fleeing the war in China, they had an eye of the storm moment on the boat to Singapore. So I did this kind of streetwear inspired look based on like my generation, what we wear, what um, Virgil Abloh is doing in Louis Vuitton Men. <laughs> Our next contestant is Mette Hartman with her Singapore Stories collection, Peranakan Tea Party in the Gardens. I'm here to show you uh, some girls that will go to a uh, Peranakan tea party in the garden. I have these uh, pants that are sarong pants mm. because Batik and sarong came to Singapore in early days as trade um, cloth. It's always challenging when I do uh, the handmade process because it's time consuming yeah. to do all the prints so if you change your design. Yeah. That's what I love to do, to combine traditional with the contemporary abstract prints. Mate Hartman with her Singapore Stories collection. Mate, well done. Alright judges, our next finalist is Carol Chen with her Singapore Stories collection, Neo Terica. I'm very inspired by Singapore as a world-class city and therefore my collection is based on Neo Terica, a very modern... I was initially inspired by Chinese paper cutting and I was like, what could mimic that, that's modern? Um, I'm also very passionate about versatility, so you can actually take off this skirt and it'll be um, a straight pencil skirt. I was really inspired by the crystal clouds because I just feel like Jewel is just such a good representation of how modern Singapore is. That was Carol Chen with her Singapore Stories collection, Neo Terrica. <laughs> now that you've seen all five final collections, it's up to the judges to deliberate. They have the hard task now of deciding who will be the winner of Singapore Stories 2020. Wow, Nina's design. I mean, every piece, we it pops, right? I mean, yeah. every piece that comes out is like, whoa. It was, and she has a, a, a lot to say with yeah. every piece. I felt that every, every single of the five pieces yeah, the experimentation, yeah. I think it was just a very sort of wildly uh, uh, exuberant uh, mm. sort of collection that was presented. I think she, she is quite ready because she has been in the industry for quite long. Uh, and uh, uh, what she presented us uh, was really uh, unique and original. So I feel like she may have invested all her time and effort and thought into just one piece <laughs> because there was that one specific piece in the collection that really stood out. Adeline, she is probably the, the only one that stayed true to her initial submission. That's true. 
And she, she, she took some risks yes, also she did. with uh, she did. also her color choices mm -hmm. uh, and the contrast in the color choices and yes. the accessories mm -hmm. and things. Uh, I think she, uh, she sent a good message on what for her represents uh, best the modern, classy Singaporean woman. Well, she had definitely put a lot of thought into into the, the design and mm. I definitely played around with the whole aspect. I, I think we all talk about her being very artistic mm. in yeah. her approach. Mm -hmm. She's creative in a different way from the mm. rest of the designers. Okay. It's not so much manifested in... In museum, in the museum world, we would have, we would have called her work sort of conceptual art, where yeah. in some ways I think her concept uh, was, uh, was very interesting. It was a great collection. Uh, it was for me uh, something that I could wear in everyday life. I think she has uh, a lot uh, of to do to improve uh, what, what she what she like to do. Uh, and yeah, it was it was great. Um, um, I think the, the 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 link to the Peranakan uh, was uh, a lot uh, was was slight was stronger this time. So overall, I felt that uh, Meta had um, actually grown quite. Uh, quite significantly from the semi-finals. Uh. We can really see that that uh, evolution of her of her design, right? From the first time we saw her pieces, yes. and then to where what we are seeing today. I was also impressed by the detail and by the. I mean, I was impressed that, from my understanding, Meta has actually designed every single stroke. It's really difficult to offer something modern using. Uh, uh, Batik because it's an ancestral uh, uh, technique uh, in fashion. Uh, however, she did a really great job. I like her idea of the neo couture. I mean, I think what stood out the most for me was really the innovation. It's definitely deviated quite a bit <laughs> from the first piece that she had. What I like about her collection is the inventiveness about how her pieces can always be be changed. Mm. Yeah from day to night in, in, mm. uh, in very skillful, I thought, mm -hmm. and very clever mm -hmm. in, in terms of her design. And her, and her use of, of uh, um, the circular mm. aspect of mm. it, uh, mm. I thought was quite interesting. I think uh, she had a great potential to reach uh, international markets. Uh, and uh, I think also that she, she has a lot of potential to reach uh, the regional market. <sighs> it's so it's been, been a long day. <laughs> yeah, it's been a very long day. It's nerve-wracking for a lot of them coming in and having these months of hard work just be displayed for 10 minutes in front of our judges <laughs> and then having the whole weight of the competition come down. I can't wait to go on another journey with another group of people next year. Next year. I can't even Fingers think about crossed. next year. Well, <laughs> no, for sure, there will be a Singapore Stories 2021, so... Just two days ago, the judges saw the finalist collection, and they took one day to deliberate and decide who the winner is. The winner will be part of an exhibition of Singapore fashion designers here at the Asian Civilizations Museum and a retail opportunity with Omnichannel, a multi-label store, Society A, plus collaboration opportunities with them. A chance to enter the international runway at Paris Fashion Week with Fashion Division in October 2021. And finally, the winner will win Singapore's Fashion Award 2020, this amazing trophy behind us. Kev is uh, proud to have uh, organized the Singapore Stories Design Competition. Thank you for the overwhelming support and also a thank you to all our stakeholders who made this event possible. Uh, we are very excited to announce the winner of the Singapore Stories 2020. It was uh, very interesting and very, very exciting. So, so I felt lots of wow moments. What I really enjoy is that each one of them has such different strengths. And each of their individual single stories together to me felt like this is our story. Yeah. <laughs> But it was interesting because fashion, uh, at, uh, at the end, it's uh, all about uh, personal taste. But uh, at the end, uh, we had all, uh, I think, uh, uh, the same final vision. Well, after a long day, we are very pleased that we had decided on the winner of the Singapore Stories. Thank you, Sima. 
And the winner of Singapore Stories 2020 is... Carol Chan! You know, I have worked so hard and sacrificed so much for this competition. Singapore is one of my favorite countries in the world, so be able to pay tribute in this way by creating a collection that showcases how beautiful and modern this city is has really been one of the highlights of my life. And most of all, I want to thank my parents and my fiance, Joe, for always making me feel that I can do anything I put my mind to. I love you, Singapore! <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to Singapore Stories 2020 and we look forward to seeing you next, next year. year. So Carol, uh, congratulations for your prize of uh, the Singapore Stories competition. Uh, thank you for uh, taking us uh, into uh, your universe uh, and I will uh, uh, hopefully meet you uh, next year uh, during Paris Fashion Week. Congratulations Carol Chen for winning Singapore Stories 2020. Uh, congratulations, Carol Cheng, for winning the Singapore Stories uh, this year. Uh, we'll be uh, happy to see more of your collection uh, in, in the near future. Then.